Let me set this up for everybody. That's Gabe's got nice. a new album. We're going to segue into music a little bit here. <laughs> um, he's got a new album. And uh, when we had first met, uh, we were talking a little bit. And then you're like, hey, like, let me send you some stuff so you can check it out. This is before we started doing Texas Made and all that. Um, but I was like, yeah, you know, like there were the ones that I was like, I really like these. And then um, there's the ones you really like, which I mean, it's your album. So like, absolutely. Um, but I will, I will say that uh, there was one in particular. It's called One Time. Um, and uh, I played that for some folks and they were like, wow, like, who yeah. is this? Yeah, Same yeah. thing you've been getting like all the time, right? Yep. And uh, that's the one where I feel like just like it's like a radio, smash radio, radio. yeah like it's ready for the radio so why don't we do this on texas made um i want to play one time on the radio and then you okay. pick the other ones let's play another new one all right you tell me which one it's going to be and then what we'll, we'll see, do we'll see what people react is we'll play them and we'll, i'll put up like a poll like on our story on social okay. so then everybody can vote like which one they like more or like which one should be like a single yeah, yeah, or yeah, like yeah. whatever, you know, which one you want to keep, yeah, on, which, keep on the, yeah, which one you want to hear on Texas on made some more. Yeah. And like, let's, let's play it a little bit and, you know, see what kind of feedback we get. I think, I think that's kind of the way Sounds to go. Good to me. So, um, talk about one time a little bit though. Talk about that one because, um, something you were telling me about is your, uh, your fiddle player has played on like a ton of oh, stuff. Yeah, yeah. I want to hear about that. So, so let's, let's talk about that real quick. One time is, uh, is on the current album. Uh, one more man for the road. Uh, yeah, it, it, I mean, it was one of those just, like you said, one of those songs that just stuck out, and uh, it was actually a, a Red Aiken song, mm -hmm. and uh, that that uh, that he had written, and uh, and that's another that's another thing too. Like I, I always I always go for Red Aiken songs because I mean his style, his vocal stuff, yeah, his, everything's pretty much kind of like what I love and what I like to do. So I I'm always chasing to see what he's. And that's got. Thomas Red's dad for folks that are like you know like kind of yeah. late to the party. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm always looking to see what he's writing and what he's doing, what he's got, and and that was one that just was there, and I was like, dude, I, that's right up my alley. And, yeah. And uh, and so yeah, like, and you're saying like the fiddle player, so like, I, I was always recording Nashville, and stuff, and and all, all the guys I try to use, most of the same guys I always use every album, so it's it's consistent. Consistent sound, absolutely. And uh, but these guys are just monsters, man. Like that, uh, he was saying the fiddle player I use on there is Joe Spivey, who he comes in. Old gray hair guy comes in just cool and with his overalls and uh, blue jean overalls and uh, brings his fiddle and everything and, and it, but, but this guy's been on everybody's album as well and and, and if you go listen to uh, Seminole Wind and just hear that fiddle part that's that's Joe Spivey right there I mean that's a good thing about him because it was just like I want those signature it's licks. so good though signature yeah licks just get like you hear the song you already know what what it is mm -hmm. you know and you know that's Joe Spivey right that's his signature deal there. And, but I'm sure he has a bunch more. But uh, but yeah, he. That's a big I mean, one though. You, you listen to go listen to my albums. I mean, he's been on every album I've I've I've, I've cut, and and that's five albums, uh, four on iTunes, Spotify, and everything. And uh, but if you want to hear the one when I was 17, go to my website GabeGarcia.com, okay. and that, that one's on there. I haven't put it on uh, anything else yet, but. Uh, so just to kind of keep it redirected. Yeah, yeah. yeah. People love that album. That's, yeah. That's, when I was 17. I need to go listen to some of that. Yeah, in fact, I don't know crazy. that I've heard any of that. I mean, people still ask about, like, do you have copies of that still? And, and which was a cool <laughs> thing, too, because my dad was one of those guys that did uh, the whole music thing, pushed us singing and did this and that. Mm -hmm. It was always that guy, you know. And, and so he handmade and put together all those on that, that first album. That yeah. Like a thousand CDs. Yeah. And he had his, his – his uh, desktop with, with like three yeah. deals in there, you know, just burn, burn, burning, 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 and copying. And Dude, you don't got to tell me. Things. I went to Judson, <laughs> and I know all the guys are doing the, like the mixtapes and everything yeah. like that, and they go out to the flea market. They just call it, oh, we're going I mean, to the flea this weekend. Machine with, the, with the label yep. on there. And yep. Just a thousand of them, and that was all I sold, and that was it. And after that, I didn't produce any more or make any more. So if anybody has an original, Gabe Jeez. Garcia, 17 years old, I mean, Tennessee Tango album, yeah, that's a – that's a little uh, keeper right there. And come see him. Come get it <laughs> autographed or whatever, too. Uh, that's why I wanted it because people, like I said, keep, I kept asking about it. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to put it on my website, and that way people can download it on there. So That's cool, man. Tennessee Tango. There's that's a lot of pride with, with being from San Antonio and, yeah. and being able to be here and play music and being a part of this community for so long. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah. I mean, like I said, I mean, the, the people here are just so loyal, and they, they've been around. I mean, I've been around a long time playing it, so I mean, people always ask, like, like it's funny that that are either they don't know me as well or yeah they're uh, are they just like been following me that long that they're like do you play here or, or, mm -hmm. have you ever played here i'm like 
I've played every bar you can think of in San Antonio. Dude, when, <laughs> when I hear – all right, so, like, I'm at Rodeo the other weekend, right? And uh, you were like, oh, I'm playing, like, at such and such. Like, I went to one place, and, like, you weren't in there. And then I walked into, like, the expo hall. And as I was walking in, I heard your voice. And I was like, <laughs> Gabe's in here. I knew that was Gabe Garcia. That's funny. You know? Yeah, I mean, a, very distinct. Too. We had a great turnout. This oh, it was, it was busy in there. I was seeing everybody. They so. stuck around. A lot of people were coming up and – Gave out a lot of cards, and there you, you know, go. could just see people walking. They just stayed there, like for a long time, just yeah. watching. Like it was, it was pretty crazy. Like a lot of new faces, and so it was cool. I mean, captivating I, I, folks, man. Gave out a lot of cards, and I even got a somebody text me the other day and was like, uh, they didn't come up to me and say hi, but they're like, man, we didn't want to bother you, but they're like, dude, <laughs> you you played amazing. You did this. It was so nice to hear you. Like, hopefully next year we'll see you inside the the the, the arena. And so it was, you know, it's cool. Like people. People want that to happen. You know, people people love to see people succeed, and especially like for local guys like us. You know, that yeah. are here. They're, I mean, everybody loves to see all that. So it's cool to see that people still appreciate you and still support you that much. I would to always see you at that caliber. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, like that's it's a really great compliment too. I would always prefer a compliment versus like um, like a tip. Yeah. Like, like if I'm DJing, you know, and I mean, like, tip's nice, but like if somebody yeah. comes up and they're like, "Hey, like you killed it tonight." Yeah. Like I'm like cool like that feels good you know versus <laughs> yeah. like five bucks or whatever they want to give me 20 i'll yeah. take 20 though too <laughs> but um yeah like you killed it or like that was amazing or like where are you going to be next time mm -hmm. and then you develop fans yeah and and you know those people like they have your back like that feels really really good yeah so it's, like i said it's, it's a big booster too to hear all that and, and and you know just makes you feel good that you're doing you're doing your thing and yeah people you know People notice. Yeah. People notice what you're doing, you know. I mean, you might not think it. They're just there yeah. chilling or talking or drinking a beer. But, I mean, there's those people, too, that are there for you. Yeah. And listening and watching and everything, you know. So, they're, uh, yeah, yeah. That's one thing you got to watch out for, too. Just, 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 uh, and that's why I like to play, like we talked about before, like play to the crowd, you know. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, I know my fans. I know what they want. I already know what they want to hear. And I already know what song they're waiting for. You yeah. Know? <laughs> and, uh, but I, I always try to keep them there long enough to because i know what songs they want to hear and stuff and 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 it's cool to have like like you can sing anything though bro have yeah but it, but it's it's funny like to i mean it's it feels good that to have like those signature songs that people just are there to listen to you know mm -hmm. i mean and they're yelling them out play this song play. so i mean and, you know because you <laughs> as a fan myself and go to concerts too you know you play you, the hits you, you train again hold on <laughs> what do you think about the <laughs> there you go. There you go. <laughs> We're gonna have good outtakes. I normally, I normally don't do too much editing on the show. Like I just run it. But like, like this one, we'll we'll cut it up probably a little so bit because the of these guys. You're gonna be like, all right, that part. Yeah. Oh well. No, I, I may just do a blooper reel of just the train. Like that'll be like a whole thing. I'll be like, well, we tried to have an interview and just like little clips. I don't know. Cut it up a little bit. Um, you know, something about people noticing, man. Um, I see this a lot, like on your story, like on Instagram. And George is always playing, you know, in Vegas and everything and uh, various places. And he seems to have some Gabe Garcia on his, like, pre-show <laughs> playlist. And then everybody that seems to be going, they're like, man, that's, that's Gabe Garcia playing right there. So wh how did that get going? Like, what's the deal with that? Or, like, did you talk to George? Or he's like, man, I need some music or what? Uh, no. Um, his, uh, well, I mean, I was on – so talking about Natural Star back then. Like, so after the show, uh, I was managed by Irv Woolsey. Um, who manages George Strait? Yeah, uh, was with her for a while, and uh, uh, so I was part of that that camp, the band, in the and mix. Everybody, yeah. yeah, I was part of that whole camp, and uh, yeah, and the sound guy. So this, uh, his front of house guy is actually a um, great guy. So he he actually plays. Uh, he, he's one that spins all the songs and stuff like that. So he uh, he had me send me yeah send him turn on a tech like or something with George Strait in there or whatever yeah. you know something to, to get people. Uh, is it is it going. one song or is it a couple songs? No, it's just that one. So, well. I, it's, uh, Tell me well, the title does, he, of this he does, one. He does a whole mix. Yeah. And I, what I think it is is a lot of songs that have George Strait in it. Yeah. And but mine's always like played towards like the it, end. It has a reference though. Has a George reference? Yeah. Uh, uh, Spinner and a flipper to a George Strait song. Okay. Spinner and a flipper to a George Strait song. I turn on the Texas cause it turns her on. Yeah. So it's it's a good upbeat fun song. So uh, so yeah, it, it's just it's 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 cool that it it gets played there and it's on. Uh, I need to put that in my Serato that rotation. Too. <laughs> yeah. And uh, and I guess I could sit now, but uh, hopefully, 
Hopefully I get a, a Kevin Fowler cut. He's yeah. He's always asking me about it. And actually, the version I think they play is uh, is actually so when we were on the same label, mm-hmm. um, I actually had a. Uh, Kevin sing that song with me on there, so but that yeah. it never got released. Okay, and uh, it never got released, and uh, so there's that version with him and I on it. So yeah, he, he does a verse and and a chorus and all that, and so uh, that would be guess, huge, man. If y'all can do yeah, a so, well, collab here, yeah, well we might. I, I see if he wants to do it again. If not, I mean, I'll text him I too. Think, uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, because because the last time we hung out at the ranch, he was like, he was like, he always asked me about the song. Like he's like, uh, did you ever release it as a single? I was like, no, it never came out as a single. I was like, so you're good. He's like. He's like, well, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm looking for songs right now, and he's like, uh, he's like, I, I really love that song, and he always plays it. He's there, to, like, he starts singing it, and yeah. And, and uh, so he, he said it might, I think it's gonna be on the next, next Kevin Fowler album, but he's. Uh, can you give us a little? Can you, can you do a little right here? Of turn on to Texas. Yeah. Uh, let's see, uh, turn on Texas, cause it turns her on. Nothing gets her going like a howdy y'all. Spin her in a flip or two, George Strait or Kevin Fowler song. I turn on the Texas cause it turns her on in the train. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Yeah, I guess that's interchangeable I the though Kevin too. Fowler, the Kevin Fowler plug in there so you can yeah. do it. I mean, I mean, yeah, because you could you could interchange that with different artists or whatever. So that's yeah, always good. Yeah, yeah. And I always do depending like where I'm at or like I see what fan base I have out there. Yeah. I'll, I'll yeah. throw Kevin, uh, uh, Kevin, or I'll throw. Mario's name, yeah, 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 people like yeah. that, you know, because we always have a lot of the same, a lot of the same following. So yeah, so Kevin Fowler, like I said, he, uh, I think he, I might, which would be cool, It'd be cool to have a Kevin Fowler cut, and yeah, and uh, I think that song really fits him, you know, just yeah, just his style, just moving around, very I was, honky tonk, man. I was, man. I, I was, I was <laughs> we were at the ranch, I was playing around, I was, uh, I was like, uh, you know how he always does that. That little yes, hand thing, the yes, hand to like, the crowd. Turn on, it because it turns her on. <laughs> yeah. I was just doing, a, doing the whole Kevin Fowler move, and it was funny. We were cracking up. But I was like, dude, that song's perfect for you. You need, you need to record it. So I don't think there's I think a thing is. top of his list. So. Okay. I hope so. Okay. I'm going to ask him about it next time I see him. Yeah. be like, hey, I'm man, so. Dude, you need to cut uh, it. I heard, I heard uh, <laughs> you know, whatever. <laughs> I'll just show him the clip. I don't know. Something. <laughs> There's there's not a such thing as too much Texas, by the way, yeah. too. Like you can't be too Texas about something. And Kevin yeah. Fowler, I think, is like as Texas he as loves it gets. Everything, yeah. Not Texas. He's, you know? he's, he's he is Mr. Texas. We just saw him at Rodeo he, too for the storyteller I mean, show. That was he posted, incredible. Uh, he posted uh, uh, you know, Texas Independence Day. He yes. His little, his little clip. You know, uh, uh, what was the song that he did a uh, we played 100% Texan yeah, 100% on Y100 yeah, yeah. yesterday too. So yeah, so yeah, he's he's all about it. So I mean, that that song just was made was made for him, and I actually wrote that song with a uh, with John Rich, too. So you did? Was, yep. Nice. John Rich and I wrote that. So we're and it, it, it was so what, what was funny about that the story behind that song. So I was on National Star at the time, and John would always tell me all the time like he, just, he would just say things that Gabe you need to do this. I think they always had to say like each one. Have to be like, okay, say something good. Yeah. They always had their earpiece, say something bad, or, like, <laughs> yeah. or just to get people booing. <laughs> and, and so John would always say, like, Gabe, you got to turn on your Texas. You got to do this and this and that. And you got to move around. You go do this. And uh, and so he kept, he would always say that. And and so Billy Ray Cyrus was the host on the show. Mm-hmm. And so he uh, he told on live television, he told uh, John, he's like, he's like, you know what, John? He's like, he's like, I think somebody out there is going to be writing the, the song, Turn on the Texas. And I'm like, Hey, thing. I look at John. And I'm like, we're gonna write that. One yeah. Day. So finally, like a year after the show, a year after the show, we uh, we finally got together. Uh, after we got done with all the National Star Tour and everything, uh, um, you know, I got I got to be in the town more and write and stuff. And so yeah, John and I linked up and we wrote that song like probably like in 20 minutes. Nice. 20, 50, yeah. Those are like the best ones, like yeah, the quick it, ones. Yeah. So, because it's only like probably a little over two minutes. Yeah. <laughs> the song's like the fastest. So, uh, yeah, so that, that was kind of a cool thing, the, and the story behind that. Like I said, it was, you know, something, Gabe, you got to turn on the Texas. Nice. And it ended up being a, a, a song, so that was that for that song. So Tell me about, tell me about your pick now for, for the radio. Which song you want to go with off, uh, Man, off your album? That's a tough one, too, because uh, there's two. You got two that you're kind of, like, back and forth yeah, on. Yeah, there's two, that, and, and it just depends on, because they're two type of tempos but one's a little more mid and freaking like it's a great song man it's a great song actually bart wrote it and stuff and uh um, and uh paul overstreet mm-hmm. uh, and bart wrote that song and uh 
uh, it's it's called Always Gonna Be This Good. I mean, and I love singing that song live. And yeah. people have been posting about it. They, that's they, not they, the one with David Lee Garza. No, that's, that's, the, that, other that's, yeah, that's, that's the other one. That's the other one. That's that's oh tough. man, yeah. That's why it's tough because because <laughs> Always Gonna Be This Good has been has become I think kind of like my I don't want to know my country looks good on you. Yeah. I think that's become b- b- besides those two songs. Yeah. Even though like it's kind of that I'm style the one, though. I'm it the seems one that ain't coming back with David Lee Garza and yeah. Ram. Has been my top downloaded song, uh-huh. but everybody's loving that. That always gonna be this good. I mean, I had to do a video for a buddy of mine was gonna propose to his chick. Mm. And I hate, that's their song, and then somebody else would message me. That's my song. That's my song. My, me and my girl. So it's, it's become a really popular song, like like fan wise. It fits but, everyone's story in a way. Downloading wise and like uh, streaming wise, uh, uh, the one with Avi Lee and and, yeah. and Ram of has been there so you're like, torn and people love that live too so yeah. it's like dang like what do i do like, well this song like I, mean, I, I like to me texas made and i want to say that david lee one would be good and ram because because it's san antonio it's texas yeah. and you got two heavy hitters on there on the tejano side which yeah. would be fun and it's a good tempo fun tempo but Man, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm gonna leave it up it's to tough. you because okay. you're the pro. I'm gonna get uh, an opinion back at the the station. I'm gonna yeah. get like a tiebreaker opinion on yeah, those that's, two. That's, so I, I'll be happy with either one. But okay, because like those one of those two songs. I mean, they're they're both great, and and that's just it depends on what you're shooting for for the for yeah the, for this for the oh that text for the show thing, yeah. You know um, I mean? well, let's uh yeah I'll 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 um that's, I'll that's I'll run it by. Be, uh, uh, some folks. I just have to flip a coin or something. May- maybe know. something. <laughs> All right, we're gonna we're gonna play one of them, and then we're gonna play one time, and then we'll do like a little little battle, little voting battle, with everybody, yeah. and uh, we'll uh, we'll post the results pay- of all that. Paper rock scissors, like you might be like something. I'm the one ain't coming back. Yeah. the other one, and see who wins that or something. And Best out at like two <laughs> out of three. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. What right. um what else is coming up this year, man? For you that you're like really looking forward to. I got some little things under my sleeve, man. Mm-hmm. I, I I got a couple guys that uh, I'm because I mean with the industry changing so much and with all the collaborate the collaborations mm-hmm. with uh, like the Tejano side or mm-hmm. just just all different genres, man. It, it's it's countries just going everywhere and 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 um, and, and uh, you know I, I've been I've been uh, the whole strictly country thing for a long time and mm-hmm. and and you know so but like. I guess you gotta adapt to new things and, and this and that. So I've, I've kind of linked up with a couple people and to try to see if we can figure out some things and, and okay. what direction we want to do. Uh, uh, Chris Pettis, for example, one of them. Oh uh, yeah, Salinas, yeah, yeah. You know, has been. Uh, uh, we uh, we linked up. We've we've always been wanting to work together, and uh, we linked up and and um, want to schedule a right um, nice. co-write. So. Uh, we have that in the works right now too. So just to I just saw Suzette the other oh, night yeah, too yeah, at, yeah, at there, El Honky yeah, Tonk. Yeah, so El like El that was that was fantastic. And um, yeah, so that's uh, something cool that I'm looking forward to to see. Like, like I told Chris, I was like, man, it was like I, you know, I know your side, you know, my side. Let's just not even worry about it. And, like yeah. think about it. Let's just put music to paper and and see see what we do. See what happens. You know, who knows? Like it might be something for me. It might be something to get a cut. See what works for you, you know. I mean, I'm I'm not gonna think too much of it and just see what happens. Or might start something fresh. You know, there's a another guy uh, from Nashville that I uh, that I've known for a while, and um, he, if you listen like his early stuff, it's kind of like like you know strictly country. Now Mm -hmm. he's blowing up his his social media with this new song that he got with uh, DJ Kane. Yeah. From uh, you know the Hano side, and it sounds actually pretty cool. It's okay English country lyric thing yeah. with this gumbia thing and, and it's and it's like a newer sound. look it actually sounds pretty cool okay it actually sounds really cool a uh, little little experimenting might, yeah, might go a long way you, maybe i have to show you i have to show here and, and and let you listen to that and so so yeah it, it just uh just everything's just going everywhere i mean and, and so i'm kind of uh kind of, kind of anxious to see what what i can get together with these guys and and see what we come up with okay so okay but as far as that i mean just uh, play more shows and and I mean getting bu- booked up again and you got stuff going on during Fiesta. Actually, this is probably gonna be the first year in many years, uh, which I got word that Mario and I ain't gonna be part nothing. No. Nope. Oh my nope. goodness! Because I was been, like, man, you gotta come see this guy at we, Fiesta. Yeah, we, uh, Mario and I have been doing it. Y'all would be at Niosa and stuff, right? Train. Hold on. Here's the train again. Hold on. Time out. <laughs> so no Fiesta for Mario and I this uh, this year. Um, I mean, he has a lot going on too with. Uh, with the roundup and everything and mm-hmm. 
and uh, I think they, you know, there was going to be some days we would have to, we were going to miss, and I think the, no, no, also people were just like, no, we need y'all like the whole time. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, we we kind of had to pull out of that just for that reason, you know. So, okay. So yeah, so uh, it wasn't just that we didn't want to do it. It was just like, you know, just. It's what now also wants. So well, everybody can follow you on social yeah, though and see so where I'm you're playing see, at and everything like that, and come come get some good barbecue down at Pinkerton's or whatever. And like like I ran into you uh, just uh, yeah, it was last weekend. I was like, what day or what year are we in now? Because rodeo has <laughs> been crazy. Um, yeah, because yeah, because it was like an El Honky Tonk, and I walked in, and the other dude that was playing like he didn't have some stuff, and so it's like, well, let's call Gabe Garcia oh, yeah, and yeah, save yeah, the yeah. day. <laughs> I come in, and Gabe just has everyone just. Um, just yeah. captivated, and you were doing some Garth and some different stuff. You were doing some of your cuts, yeah. and uh, I was just like, wow, I'm getting time. set up. And, yeah, this guy was just killing it. People are like, woo, you know, wild. It was, it was a great crowd. They were, they were ready yeah. to party, man. They yeah, were, that they was good. Rowdy. They were rowdy. So I knew pretty much what I needed to play for them. And, and uh, You yeah, can go in there and you can read the crowd. Yeah, 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 yeah it you was know. a good time. But, yeah, um, just just go to my social media, you know, my, my Instagram and uh, – my Facebook, uh, Gabe Garcia official fan page, uh, Gabe Garcia official on on uh, Instagram, and I'm, I'm always posting my gigs. So uh, yeah, just go to that. Nice. Follow me, and I'm always somewhere. Like it's like he said. We just kind of just, just kind of run Garcia into each other at, at this point. <laughs> yeah, I was like, he's always out Catch playing somewhere. somewhere. You hear his voice though, and you're just drawn to it, and it's <laughs> like you want to just like go in and sit down and get a beer, get a bite, whatever, and then just hang out, listen, you know, and yeah. it's always great. Well, well, we'll wrap up this episode of Texas Made with one of our favorite things we like to do on the show called That's What I Like About Texas. This is the Gabe Garcia edition. Your top three things you like, love about Texas. I love about Texas. Uh, well, the Mexican's food, that's for sure. Mm. I mean, I like to say I moved to Nashville, and uh, it was horrible. I mean, they had their music there, Mexican food there, but – it was nothing like coming home. Trash. And, and I mean, it was, I, I couldn't wait cause to come home to, my, to play shows down here because just just to go eat, yeah. just go eat Mexican food and 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 and, and have that South Texas uh, taste. And uh, I guess uh, I guess I mean, as far as just like going like to the river and all that, just we have the greatest escapes of everything. Um, the river, we have two two hours away is the, the the beach, closest beach. Uh, so uh, that's what I like, especially living here in San Antonio. We're central to yeah. all of that. So it just whatever you feel like doing. I want to go to the river. I'm gonna go to the river. I want to go, you know, down here. So I mean, that's why I mean, like like downtown. I love living down here because just the. I mean, look at this. I mean, it's I, cool. I, I mean, I, minus I mean, the I train. Love, <laughs> yeah, I, I love I love the country. Living in the country, and I mean, I'm, I'll eventually go back. But just uh, I just love the culture of, of San Antonio and what Texas has to offer down here, and and and, and I, it makes me feel like a tourist. And just to get to enjoy like things that I, I never even experienced myself. I, I go ride my bike or, or walk around or just go through downtown walking around. And there's yeah. a lot of things like that I didn't even know existed there. Like it's pretty neat, you know. San Antonio's come a long way, man. The uh, third man, I guess. Uh, I, I know everybody hates it, but I, I guess to me sometimes is, is I guess it's the 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 bipolar uh, weather because. <laughs> 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 I guess because it's like you never know what the hell is going to do. So it's it's just like I, I love like right now is perfect. Oh, you know? yeah. And, 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 and it'll be raining and be like, OK, well, because it's just like gets you like to like you're you're never bored because it's like, OK, you're like uh, it's it's going to rain. So at least I get to like relax now and stay home and watch TV. And mm-hmm. but then when it's nice and you get to go do something. And then it's like cold and I get to wear my jacket that I always <laughs> wear my vest, whatever. Cause it's like, I still sometimes get the COVID weight and I'm yeah. like, okay, I gotta, and people always laugh. People always laugh. Cause I'm always like, uh, I was like, it's best, best time. You yeah, know, best time. I, I'm always writing stupid stuff on there, but, but, uh, yeah, I mean, I guess the weather cause it's, you never know. And, and that, that's cause I would, that's why I like it. Cause I, cause I hate to live anywhere like in the Midwest where it's, you're like One snowing and it's something. just snowing forever. Oh yeah, yeah. And you can't go anywhere and it's like hell with that. That's why I'm like so <laughs> happy like, you know, one day I can go hang out at the at the beach because it's hot and then two days later I got to put my jacket on, you know, and I'm yeah. like cold and I'm like all right. But now yeah, I mean it's just Texas is just it has it all. It's just uh um I, I love I love being from here and and people are always jealous, you know, when you meet uh you go somewhere else and or it's another state over there. I'm from Texas. You tell them where you're from. You tell them you're from oh, San yeah. Antonio. I mean, a lot of people. By way of Lytle, people have moved here, but and, and, and yeah, a lot of people have moved here and, and they love it. I mean, they, they they don't even want to claim their states. They're like, 
I'm yeah. Texas now, you know. I'm, I'm, I tell people I'm from Texas, and I've only been here two years. And yeah. <laughs> well, but. and we just had Texas Independence Day, yeah. too. And really, for us, that's just kind of our day to just kind of. Yeah, be you proud. Know. Yeah, be Texas proud. Pat ourselves on the back a little bit. And, you know, if uh, if other folks don't like it, they can just kind of deal with it because uh, we're Texans. Yep. And that's and just how it is. Pure bread. Yes, sir. Well, but. here with the mayor of Southtown, Mr. Gabe <laughs> Garcia. Y'all come see him real soon. I'll probably be hanging out somewhere drinking a beer, so it's going to be all good. Dude, we appreciate the time. Yeah, thanks for having me, Get man. some uh, new music on Texas for, Made. Uh, doing what y'all are doing with the Texas Made and bringing music back, Texas music back, and uh, us local guys from here. And thank y'all very much for supporting me and uh, see y'all at a show, y'all. Sounds good. We'll catch up real soon, man. Appreciate all it. Right, thank you.